I'm Nate Romero, and my pitch that you're about to see is to sophomore organic students, and I guess I'm trying to convince them to do research in chemistry and convince them that a career in chemistry is worthwhile. I grew up playing with Legos, and on more than one occasion, I remember bringing my parents one of my creations, and they would ask, what is it? And I'd say, I don't know, but isn't it awesome? Believe it or not, most scientists are actually like this. I'm studying to be an organic chemist, and organic chemists at their core just love to build cool molecules. In the Nisevich group where I work, we do photoredox catalysis, which means we're interested in taking the energy from light to do reactions that are otherwise difficult. For example, if you remember Markovnikov's rule from organic chemistry, well, we take Markovnikov's rule very seriously, but we break it on a daily basis like it's our job. One of the cool things about what I get to do is I also get to study these molecules. And I do this by using time resolved spectroscopy. And you can think about this as looking at the reactions in slow motion. One of the coolest things that a chemist can encounter is when one of the molecules they've made has completely unexpected properties. It would be like an engineer who's designed a new car, and when they actually make it, it goes 0 to 60 in like a half a second. My point is this, as you start to think about careers, you might be considering careers in science. And I know that science can also be kind of intimidating because it seems like science is committed to progress and requires that you change the world. But I think that's scary because what if you don't change the world? And to be honest, most of us don't. So don't put too much pressure on yourself. Start thinking about the things that you just love to do. It's possible that the same parts of you that love to write music or to write poetry or to make pottery, maybe those same parts of you also love to build molecules. Being a chemist gives you the freedom to be curious on a daily basis. So if that sounds like something you could get into, then you just might be a chemist.